Hello guys, welcome back to another part of Java application development tutorial. So in the previous part we just finished finish the design pattern of that calculator, Java calculator. So from this part onwards we are just entering, we are going to entering into the coding segment of this uh, application development. So the first task is to whenever user click any of this button, the label corresponding to that button is appear on the display of this calculator so for doing that just click the button any of these button and choose the events and select the action option and here is the action performed method we can see that here this method is the public void one action performed is the method corresponding to the action of that button so here, here we need to first check out uh, if there is anything present that means any numbers present on the display if a number is present on the display then we have to uh, add one at the end of that string available on the display so first we need to check if there is uh, that means if display is empty or not so the value the variable corresponding to display is display display dot get text Uh, not equal to null that means some values are present there so in that case we have to just append the value 1 at the end of the string that currently present on on display of the calculator so in this case we just assign display dot set text first we have to access the value now currently available on the display display dot get text is convert into string plus add one at the end of it okay cannot find symbol display reset T A S P L A Y display okay what is it? Sorry, it is not a method, so we need we don't need that brackets. Okay, otherwise we just assign one to the display. Uh, display dot set text one. Okay, we have to do it for all other button also so here is the action performed for button 1 here is the action performed for uh, two action that means this is the method for the action corresponding to button 2 I place the same code again here instead of 1 I replace it with 2 and save it now we have to check it out on this file okay now the calculator appear 1 1 to do okay now we have to do it do these things for all the buttons present on this calculator okay I just uh, place the code just place the same code segment for the all the button uh, code on the action method of all the buttons available on this calculator number button available on this calculator so we have to check it out now I just run it here is one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero all are working fine okay okay now the next thing we need to do is to whenever user type user enter a value on the display enter a number on the display and select any of these operator and whenever user select any of these operator that value that means the display available on the screen on the display of that calculator must be reset and we have to store that number into any any of any variable on the code so the next thing we need to do is to declare some variables so here I just declare two variables three variables first number second number and result and in the case of division operation we need we got some frag, uh, fraction values so for that case I just declare a float value here 
okay so when user enter some values here and just uh, after entering some values just press this button any of these operators so we have to do it for the plus operator now so select the events action performed so here is the add action perform so if the user click the add button we have to just save the first number into the variable called the first number we have to change it into integer so we use the wall integer dot percent display dot get text okay uh, we just get the value from value enter into the display of calculator into variable first number uh, now we have to just clear out the screen of calculator so display dot uh, set text just clear out the screen using a blank string variable string value okay uh, we have to check it out now so run the file so I enter the first number 12 and click plus now you can see that that value is actually slot into the variable called the first name first number and the screen is actually cleared okay now if user enter the first number and click any of this operator after clicking this operator he enter the second number and click the equal button so the next thing we need we have to do is on the equal button so just choose that option and choose the action perform action uh, method for equal button here is the action performed for equal method so second number is equal to uh, we have to convert it into integer integer dot percent display dot get text okay we just got the value of second number so we need another variable here I just declare a string variable here string operation I just declare either variable here string operation so whenever user click the plus button we have to assign some value for the string called operation 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 is equal to I assign it as it as addition okay now select the action listener for the equal button action performed so we have to check it is an addition operation if operation dot equals addition result is equal to first number plus second number now we got the result on this variable result now we have to assign this result into the string you can see that actually result is a string result is a string integer value now we have to convert it into a string for assigning it into uh, assigning it on the display so here I create a temp temporary variable string temp is equal to integer dot to string that integer value result we just convert that result that it's an integer into a string value here now we just assign 
this value for the on the this value on the display display dot set text assign it on the display okay now we just finished the coding for the addition operation so we can check it now run that file okay 12 plus 2 is equal to 14 now the addition working fine so we have to do these things for all other buttons so now we will go for the second button second operation called uh, subtraction so I just copy this copy this code segment copy it and for the second operator equals minus so here is the action performed for subtraction paste that code instead of addition I just use sub so now go to the action performed for equal operator okay I just copy it and paste it here if it is a subtraction then the string is sub in that case perform the subtraction now check it out now okay 12 minus 5 is equal to 7 okay now for the button into button copy it and paste it here now convert it into division sorry it is multiplication okay now again go to the equal operator action performed for the equal button if it is multiplication we do the multiplication here okay now you can check it out 12 into 2 is equal to 24 okay now for the division operation copy this code and place it on division action performed for the division button I change it as div again go to the equal operator action performed for the equal button and if it is if the string is division we just use this just perform the division operation here so instead of result maybe it's a fraction value uh, we use that variable that float variable called uh, a diff result and here we need a casting okay now we just assign that instead of result we use this variable div result okay now we can check it out now there is some it's an integer value so it's a floating value now we need to convert that float value into string so here it, here it is an integer now the result the result is a float value so we use this wrapper type float here okay 
Uh, now we complete all the arithmetic operations for this calculator, so we can check it out now. 12 divided by 4 equal to 3.0. Okay, now all the basic functions for the calculator is working fine now. Now we need to perform some other operations. Uh, that means some advanced operations like square root and fraction addition plus or minus etc. So that are discussed in the coming coming up part of this tutorial. Okay, one more thing is doing one more we need to one more thing to do in this operation called we need a clear button here. So on the clear button we have to reset all the variables and uh, first we need to clear the display display dot set text first I just clear the display so now I have to clear the first number uh, now I have to clear the second number now I have to clear the result Now the that variable called a div result is equal to a zero. Okay, now that flag that means operation is equal to null. I just clear all the variables available on this operation on the clear button. So 12 clear. 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. Okay, now you can see all the buttons and all the functionalities available on the calculator is now working fine. And in the coming up part of this tutorial, we add some additional functionalities like square root and some other other calculator functions. Okay, guys, please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.